so butterfly prints, little techniques and tricks I like to use. You've got your A3 art block paper, or cartridge paper is what we call it. And you need to start by setting your students up. Newspaper on the bottom, it's sure to get messy, I did, they're going to. And I just fill a little tray, probably one per student. So you'll need, I don't know, 25 of these. I just use primary colours, yellow, red and blue. And if you have the pots of spoons, you can just go around, if they do two prints, just fill up as they go. Um, and try and give them some structure by demonstrating first. So this idea. Um, I usually have three brushes. You might want to share one between two um, and have you know your, your brush per colour. So they can put that on the paper. Okay, so start by folding your piece of paper in half. Uh, you need to keep an eye on the students as they're doing this because they're going to want to fill it with lots of paint. So I just start by thinking of a spiral in the middle. It doesn't need to be too big. We'll spread it out with our fingers. So I'm just going to start by holding over the palette. So it's a good idea. And starting by just spreading around with the brush getting the bits of paint around in a bit of a spiral shape. Okay, doesn't matter if it's globby too much, the, the paint can dry thick as well, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so I've got my red, and fold it over, my blue, I'm also going to start to go to the sides a little bit. This idea of a circle with the little wings is for those butterfly wings. So we'll see how that goes. And yellow. Depending on where you want it. This yellow is quite thick too. Check your paints before you start this art lesson. Some of them are a little old. You can put that there. A little bit. That's quite a lot of paint. Okay. This is probably all right. We'll see how that goes. So once that's done, we fold over. The kids can't leave it like that for ages. It starts to dry, your paper dries together, and then you have all sorts of issues. So slowly, we start to combine those that paint with our fingers, spreading it around slowly and carefully, spreading the paint from the center out. So in this wing direction, like wings of a butterfly. So I kind of give that idea. So getting the wings happening, spreading it from the center. If your paper is starting to, you know, we're pushing it away, just, you know, straighten it back up. You can also open it. The kids can start to see their butterflies. They can also go back, shut it. I usually do that once or twice. And we need to create the bodies of the butterflies. So this is where we bring it from the center. So we start with the butterfly in this direction and then we bring it out to create the body. So starting like that. Another really great technique is using the back of the pencil to start creating patterns. So to do that from the center of the fold, not pushing too hard, we start to create some secret lines or patterns. So I'm going to do that on both wings of my butterfly to create some interest you'll see what it looks like see how we go and also maybe some stripes down the body okay all right let's have a look dun, 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 dun. the fun part Ta -da! yeah so creating that little step and just that idea I've created experimenting ones you can see that they all look different depending on the, the paint you use. You can see it's quite thick, it starts to tear. So as soon as they're done, have a designated space to let it dry on the table or leave it there and at lunchtime you can move them somewhere else. Uh, we're going to leave them like that. If it's really thick, just let it dry thick. It will create the nice little pools of the print in the paint. And then the next lesson we're going to get our permanent markers and start to outline all around those shapes, detailing the butterfly. Enjoy, have fun.